see, I'm disappointed but happy with the Baltimore Ravens and their latest moves that they made. And I know it sounds extremely confusing, but I'm going to break it all down to you. And hopefully, by the end of this video, we'll be crystal clear on exactly what I mean. So, what are the Baltimore Ravens' latest moves? Well, today it was announced, and it had been rumored that they were going to be bringing back Brent Urban, uh, Kevon Seymour, and Josh Johnson. But they made it official today. Because the Baltimore Ravens, they signed defensive end Brent Urban cornerback Kevon Seymour and quarterback Josh Johnson to the active roster so they go on a 53 man roster right now but wait they were already at 53 men now they're at 56 so in order to bring those guys on they had to take some guys off uh, and the guys that they took off and put them on injury reserve were outside linebacker Malik Ham cornerback Demarion Williams and running back Keaton Mitchell so they put those guys on injury reserve so they have to miss at least the first four games of the regular season so um Keaton Mitchell specifically starting with him uh I was really happy happy that he made the roster y'all know a lot of y'all put me on to Keaton Mitchell who he was what he could do and then from that first game alone I was like oh yeah it's real with all the stuff that the Ravens fans been saying about Keaton Mitchell it's all real it's all there I've seen it on film now hey I love this guy I want him to make the roster and every single preseason game when we watched and even though he only played in the first two when we watched we were just excited for him because we knew he would make a big play and that's exactly what he did every single time he played every single time he got opportunity so so what we did as fans, what I did as a fan was envision that in a regular season. Now, I did not expect him, and I think it would be an unrealistic expectation to expect him to get 10 carries a game, 15 carries a game, 20 carries a game. We knew that wasn't going to happen, but we still thought about some of the possibilities with Keaton Mitchell touching that ball, and that could be something very serious, very serious. Uh, but he, whether it was going to be closing out the game on offense, him bringing him in for a couple plays a game, whether it was going to be him catching a couple of passes out of the backfield on offense, who knew? Whether it was going to be him as a gunner on special teams, whether it was going to be him at kick return, whatever he was going to do, when we saw that number 34 on the field in a regular season, oh, we were going to be hyped. And, and I was just happy that he made the roster initially because I was scared. I was scared that in that second preseason game, when he got that shoulder stinger, I said, oh, no, here we go. He's an undrafted rookie free agent, so it's already a lot going up against him. Ravens signed Melvin Gordon, so I'm pretty sure they're favoring him because he's the veteran. Oh, Keaton Mitchell, ah, they're probably going to end up stashing him. But they didn't. They didn't, and that's what had me so hyped and so much more excited for him when he was on the, the active roster in the regular season. Because I'm like, all right, let's go, Keaton Mitchell. But then came this. Because he was out for a little bit, just a tiny bit. But then he came back to practice like right away after the shoulder thing. So I'm like, all right, let's go, Keaton Mitchell. He got a shot. He really got a shot. But now this, he's on injury reserve. So he's going to be out at least uh, the first four games. And then he'll be eligible to return anytime after that. Uh, so that's what, that's what made me disappointed. I, I, I was disappointed because I'm like, man, Keaton Mitchell, he came back. He's back on the team. He came back to practice and everything, but they still put him on injury reserve. Now, and I get it. I get it because it's not like he was expected to have this huge role on the Baltimore Ravens from jump. I, I, I get that. Um, but it was like, oh, man, I, I just I really wanted to see him out there on Sundays in a really bad way. Um, but that will be put on pause. But what I'm happy about uh, is that at least he did make the roster. Because this could have went a completely different way. The Ravens could have been like, oh, Keaton Mitchell, we not expected to, for him to have a big role. Just stash him. Just, just, just stash him. Just put him on injury reserve before we make the 53-man roster. We'll see him next year. But I'm so glad and I'm grateful and happy that they didn't do that. Because I think, well, not even I think, I know that they saw something special in him, especially with him being an undrafted rookie free agent, especially with everything that they had at the running back position ahead of him, in front of him, especially guys that were already set at that position. But they still chose him to be on their initial 53-man roster. So they see something special in that kid. So that, that's what makes me really, really happy about everything going on with Keaton Mitchell. Now, the other guys, uh, Kevon Seymour. Ravens need depth at corner. We know that Kevon Seymour got plenty of starting experience. We know that Kevon Seymour is somebody that I felt was going to be a roster lock to make the 53. But Ravens, now what they doing with, with these three guys, keep this in mind. The, again, Brent Urban, Kevon Seymour, and Josh Johnson, they're all back on the active roster. Now, since they got signed 
after the initial 53-man roster, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99.9% sure that their contracts are not fully guaranteed. So if they are, say for instance, they are on the roster for the first three weeks, they'll get paid for the first three weeks. But if they get cut after that, then the re remaining 14 weeks, they wouldn't get paid for that. Because it's not guaranteed. They're on a week-to-week -week contract now. Now, speaking of uh, Josh Johnson, who the Ravens brought back again. <laughs> Josh Johnson, he done been around the league. He done been everywhere multiple times. It seemed like he done played for all 32. But we know he ain't played that much. But, no, he has played that much. But he might as well be a ref at this point because he knows every single team. He ain't got no bias. He's like, all right, sign me up. I play another year as quarterback. But shout out to Josh Johnson. I don't know how many years he's been playing, but he's he been doing his thing and he's still in the league. So that says a lot about him, his work ethic, and how teams feel about him and the respect that he has throughout the league. But anyway, Josh Johnson, with the Ravens signing him to the active roster. Again, we still, no word on Tyler Huntley. They did say he was still off to the side in, in, in yesterday's practice. So he's not a practicing in full yet. Now, week one doesn't really start till next week, but we want to see some kind of encouraging signs from Tyler Huntley. Uh, if he is going to be their number two quarterback. But them signing Josh Johnson, them bringing him back, uh, again, it's Ravens staying ready so they, they got to get ready. Now, hopefully, they ain't even got to worry about no number two quarterback for week one, week two, week three, for none of the weeks. Hopefully, it's Lamar full goal. He's healthy this entire season. But they got to be prepared, be extra prepared just in case. What I'm hoping is that the only time that we see the backup quarterbacks <laughs> it's because the Ravens, they blowing some other team out the water. That's what I would love. We don't want to see backup quarterbacks for any other reason than that alone. Um, but, yeah, with Keaton Mitchell, it had been rumored that he was going to be one of the people put on injury reserve. Uh, also with uh, Malik Hammond, it was also rumored with him, another undrafted rookie free agent. But with Pepe Williams, the Marion Williams, he was one that, Everybody knew that he was going to be put on injury reserve because John Harbaugh said that he wasn't going to be back until later on in October. Uh, that's what the expectation. It's not a guarantee, but that's the expectation. So with him uh, getting ready to be out for a while, this is nothing new or no surprise, anything like that. Now, um, some other news with the Baltimore Ravens. They have officially filled out their practice squad. They are at 16 players. The last player that they signed is from Jeff Zrebic. It said uh, nose tackle uh, Bravion Roy. Uh, he fills the Ravens' final practice squad spot. And they were hoping to get uh, defensive tackle Angelo Blackson back on the practice squad, but he decided to go to Florida. He went to Jacksonville. The Jacksonville Jaguars, they uh, ended up signing uh, Angelo Blackson. So they snatched another defensive lineman away from the Ravens. Remember, Jacksonville did this a couple weeks ago. Well, yeah, a couple weeks ago. Remember when the Ravens, they were interested in Dwayne Smoot, and they were scheduled to visit with Dwayne Smoot. But he ended up re-signing with Jacksonville. Uh, and then I, I almost thought with Jadavion Clowney, they were, Jacksonville was going to do the same thing because Jadavion Clowney had visited with the Ravens. It was said that they offered him a contract, but he was still contemplating and whatnot. Then he ended up visiting with the Jacksonville Jaguars. I said, oh, here we go. Not again, especially not with my guy Jadavion Clowney. But they ain't do it with him. But now the Ravens getting that. They getting that get back. Uh, well, no, the Jaguars getting that get back against the Ravens again. So they said it's so nice to steal a defensive lineman from you. We're going to do it twice. Uh, and then last but not certainly not least, um, Christian Welch, who I thought not wasn't necessarily a lock to make the roster, but I really thought he was going to be there, especially for everything that he does on special teams. Um, but he did not make the roster. He didn't make the practice squad because uh, he is actually signing with the Green Bay Packers practice squad. So Christian Welch is officially gone from the Baltimore Ravens. So they've been they they have taken some risk uh, this offseason. And I mean, you got to do that because you got you go from a 90 man roster to 53. And there's obviously some guys you want to bring back and whatnot and sign back to the active roster, sign back to the practice squad. But there's some risk when you release them because any team they can put in a claim for. Them. And even after the waiver wire period ends, they can go sign somewhere else. They may not even want to come back to you. Uh, so there's that risk that's involved. But. Um, the Ravens, they Christian Welsh, they feel like they could take that risk, and they took it, uh, but he ended up signing elsewhere, and that's happened with a, quite a few people. Caillou Blue Kelly, and again, I'm not sure if they wanted to bring him back or not, but Caillou Blue Kelly, they cut him, and he was a fifth-round draft pick this year, but he ended up going with the Seahawks. So it happens. It, it, it's a business. It's a tough business. They got to make a lot of tough decisions every single day. I was about to say every single year, but no, it's every single day. 
Um, so shout out to them and just shout out to Eric DaCosta because that's whew, that's a tough job. And why he's not perfect, we were talking about that earlier in today's video, going through the comment section and whatnot. Eric DaCosta certainly is not perfect, but overall he, he he's done a solid job thus far, and we're hoping that this year will really solidify him as great. Because we want the Ravens to have a lot of success. They are primed to have a lot of success. As long as they stay healthy, uh, they are in a really, really great position right now. So we'll see how this season shakes out. Team Keep It Clean, I love you all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you do not miss not one single thing, not one single update, not one single video, not one single anything. I love you and we out.